Greetings and welcome to Social Studies class. Today's Social Studies lesson is the Studies Weekly Wildlife section. But before we begin, I want to ask you a question. Would you ever eat a fungus? Yuck, you're probably cringing and thinking I'd never. Now let me ask you another question. Have you ever eaten pizza, a hamburger or a hot dog on a bun, a donut? Then folks, you have eaten a fungus. You have eaten something called yeast. Yeast is commonly used in baking these items. It is what makes bread and pizza dough rise, which means it gets wider, lighter and softer. And yeast is a single celled organism and it is a fungus. So depending on how often you eat toast, burgers, pizza, you might eat a fungus a couple times a week. Well, this week we are learning about another fungus found in Pennsylvania, and it is mushrooms. This is another fungus that you might eat, as there are edible mushrooms. And then there are mushrooms that you must never eat, like this guy right here in the picture. All right, we'll be reading two articles this week. We'll be eating the reading the first part of Nature's Bounty because it's about mushrooms. Then we'll jump over to our Pennsylvania Wildlife article. So let's get started. No longer viewed only as that coal state, Pennsylvania is now known for its beautiful and productive farmland. Tourists are pouring into our state every year to see firsthand the unusual farming methods of the Pennsylvania Dutch. Mmm, 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 mushrooms. This delicious treat has been growing in America for only 100 years, but it's been enjoyed for centuries all over the world. In ancient times, Egyptian pharaohs and Roman emperors forbade the commoner from eating mushrooms. They were reserved for kings and noblemen only. Later on, they decided the mushroom had strengthening powers and fed this food of the gods to soldiers going into battle. The Chinese called the mushroom the divine fruit of mortality. Did you know that over 800 million pounds of mushrooms are produced in the United States every year, and more than half of them come from a five square mile area in Pennsylvania known as Kennett Square near Westchester. Kennett Square is called the mushroom capital of America. Mushrooms are very nutritious, so if you must eat pepperoni pizza, at least say double mushrooms, please. What exactly is a mushroom? Is it a plant? Is it an animal? Actually, it's neither one. It's a fungus. It has elements of both animals and plants. It can't get up and walk around like an animal, but it eats organic matter, just like we do. The mushroom has no chlorophyll like a plant, but it grows in the ground. It reproduces with spores. Did you ever wonder what would happen if there were no fungi? Well, we'd be knee deep in corpses and dead stuff. The earth could not function without fungi, along with bacteria with their digestive systems, dissolving dead and decaying matter. Most trees and many plants couldn't grow without their fungi partnerships. Antibiotics, that medicine your mom gives you for sore throats, wouldn't exist. Yeast is a one-celled fungus. No yeast means no bread. Pretend you are lost in the woods of the Hershey Dutch region. It's getting late. You're starving and you spot some mushrooms growing along the trail. Should you stop, pick some, wash off the dirt in a stream and eat them? Never! There are many poisonous varieties. If you eat one of those, you could die or be so sick that you wish you could die. Eat only the mushrooms from your refrigerator or at restaurants. 
This is very important. We want this fun guy to remain a fun guy in your lives. So, mushrooms, the mighty mushroom, has an illustrious history. The food of Egyptian pharaohs, Roman emperors, and kings. And there's actually some in the Hoover refrigerator right now. But hey, go mushrooms. And there's over 800 million pounds of mushrooms produced in the United States just in the United States. That is a lot of mushrooms. And over half of them are produced, they're grown right here in Pennsylvania in a place called Kennett Square. And so I thought I'd pull some pictures of Kennett Square for you, the little towns of Kennett Square. You can see there they advertise themselves as the mushroom capital of the world. And all this mushroom growing, um, according to local Kennett Square lore, started with the Quakers. Back in 1885, two Quaker flower growers were bothered by wasted space under the carnation beds in their greenhouses. If you ever go to a greenhouse, they have long tables and all these plants on them. And these Quakers thought, you know, if these tables where we're growing carnations, but what about what's underneath them? What's, you know, what can we grow down there? So they thought of growing mushrooms. So they traveled over to Europe where people were already growing mushrooms and they brought back spores. And spores are how mushrooms reproduce. And those Quakers were Kennett Square's original mushroom farmers. And there are still a few Quaker descendants in Kennett Square today in the mushroom growing business. But now many different people grow uh, mushrooms in Kennett Square. A lot of different people grow mushrooms in Kennett Square today. Kennett Square has a big mushroom festival every year. I can see from this picture right here, it looks like they have a mushroom parade, mushroom festival parade. A lot of people turn out for the mushroom festival and it celebrates mushrooms and, and their history and heritage. So it looks like a fun place to, to go. All right, as you know, fun group, mushrooms are a fungus and that's a simple organism that is not a plant or an animal. Scientists have classified it as being its, its own thing, part of the fungi kingdom. This kingdom also includes some other things you might know, like molds. You can see there the green stuff on the strawberries. Mildew, you gotta watch that sometimes shows up in your bathroom. And truffles. Fungi were once thought to be plants, and sometimes when I look at them, I think, wow, you know, they're growing in the ground like a plant but they were reclassified because they don't really have stems or roots. They don't have leaves or chlorophyll. They don't make their own food. So because of this, biologists, and those are those scientists that study life, they say that they aren't plants or animals, but their own group. And I'm gonna throw in this fact free of charge, more than one fungus is called fungi. That's why I talk about the fungi kingdom, because it includes molds, mushrooms, and more than one type of fungus. The plural of that is fungi. A fungus grows by feeding on other organisms, like dead plants and animals. That is one of the great things about mushrooms. They help clean up the environment. You know, some people like the taste of mushrooms. I like the ones that you can eat. I like them on pizza and I like them on steak. You know, some people don't and that's okay too. But you gotta admit, they kind of clean up the forests and clean up our environment. They'll um, break down fallen trees and animal droppings and dead matter. So in that way, you gotta love a mushroom. Now, 
There are many kinds of mushrooms. Some are good to eat and some are not. Some are very tasty in my opinion. Here we see some edible mushrooms that grow in Pennsylvania. And if you go outside Pennsylvania to other parts of our country or even to other countries, there they grow mushrooms that might be different than the ones that grow here in Pennsylvania. But these are some ones that you can eat that grow in Pennsylvania. And they have some very unusual looks. Um, you know, kind of what I, you don't even think of a mushroom. When I look at this horn of plenty, it almost looks like a grayish, bluish flower, but it's a mushroom. Then there are poisonous mushrooms too in Pennsylvania, at least seven kinds. And here they are. Some make you very sick and can even cause death. Um, and they have some interesting names. Uh, destroying Angel, Deadly Gallerina, Death Cap. Who wants to eat something called Death Cap? Ugh, Poison Packs. My goodness. Just from the sounds of these names, I would not want to eat them. So here's the rule to remember. Never eat mushrooms that you find in the woods, in your yard, or growing anywhere. The poisonous mushrooms look a lot like the non-poisonous ones. Let's go back and take a look at the non-poisonous. Non-poison, um, edible ones, there they are. And, oops, poisonous ones. Right, here's our poisonous ones. You know, and when I look at this one or, or you know, this one, they kind of look a little bit, oh, especially these, they kind of look a little bit like what you would see at the store, but they are very, very bad for you. You just don't eat those. So the rule is you don't eat mushrooms that you find. It is not worth the risk. So you never eat them. Your parents can buy mushrooms in the store if you want to add them to your pizza or your steak. When I go to Haas's, I sometimes order their sauteed mushrooms. They are mushrooms that have been fried in butter and I really like them. But I would never pick a mushroom that I find, bring it home, saute it up and eat it. I don't even touch them and neither should you. Okay, so that's our warning. Now it's time to show what you know. And we are going to answer three questions this week. One, why do scientists say mushrooms are not plants? Two, what part of Pennsylvania is known as the mushroom capital of the world? And three, why should you never eat mushrooms that you find outside? Okay. I hope this lesson wasn't too mushy for you. And we are going to close our lesson with a studies weekly video about mushrooms, of course. Do you like mushrooms? Maybe you like them on your pizza or on a delicious cheeseburger. At the grocery store, you can buy many different varieties of mushrooms, but what kind of food are mushrooms? Is it a vegetable? Is it an animal? It is actually neither. Mushrooms are a fungus. A fungus is important in our ecosystem. The earth cannot function without fungi with their digestive systems dissolving dead and decaying matter. Most trees and many plants couldn't grow without their fungi partnerships. Antibiotics, that medicine your mom gives you for sore throats, wouldn't exist. If you are walking through the woods and see a mushroom, should you pick it, dust off the dirt, and eat it? No. Mushrooms found in the wild can be very poisonous. They can give you a really bad stomach ache and in rare cases can even lead to death. It's best to stick to eating the mushrooms you can buy in a grocery store.